In this video, I'm going to show you how to build some drill down dashboards and it's super simple. So let's get started right now. Welcome to another Tableau video. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That way you don't miss any of the fun. So let's start with uh, where we always start, which is the data set. So let's bring that in. And actually, before I show this and go through it, let me just show you where this question came from. So this came from a question a few days ago from Vasil S. Can you make a video of drill down in map from country, region, city, and address? So basically what we're going to do is build a dashboard that lets you drill down using what's called actions, right? Which is just a fancy word for clickable. Yeah, that you can click it and something happens. That's really what an action is, right? It's very simple. So here we have the data set and basically it's a few fields of location. So city, country, region, state and province. And then I just put some figures here for quantity and sales in case we want to do something with that. All right, so if you want to follow along with this uh, analysis, you can download this data set in the description below. Uh, and you should be able to get access to the CSV. So let me now just load this up into Tableau. And let's kind of go through, uh, I go through this in a lot of other videos, but let's go through it here because it's kind of specific to maps. What you'll notice is, if I zoom in here, the data type set for these ones is automatically a globe, right? Which means it's a geographical role data type. Now, the reason it was able, well, Tableau was able to say, oh, that's a geographical location is, it looks at the field name. Oh, city. Yeah, that's a geographical data type, most likely. And then it looks at the data inside and it goes, yep, those are definitely, you know, cities. And the way it does is it, I don't know, it has some sort of database somewhere that it links up to and it can pull that data to say, okay, that's definitely a city. And the reason it wants to do that is because in order to do mapping in Tableau, we need longitude and latitude. And in fact, any program where you're going to do visualizing, um, locations, you need longitude and latitude. Tableau just makes it easy because it has a repository it can instantly access. So it does it for each one. Now, let's say you didn't call this city. Let's just call it like someone forgot to type something in and they called it field one. Well, what usually will happen is this will not be a geographical location. Instead, it will look like this, right? It will just be like ABC, which means when you get to do the mapping, it won't work because you need a geographical data type. So the way you set it so that it does work, set this to string, then go geographical role and set it to the correct one. So in this case, it's city, you know, for country, if I go here, it's country slash region here in state province. If I go here, it'll be set to state province, right? So you choose the most appropriate one for your data type. So once you got that set up, we go into sheet one. And we're ready to start visualizing. So whenever I build uh, any dashboard, right, I think practically all of them have some sort of interactivity, right, which is basically the whole drill down idea. You always want to think of your data representation kind of going like this. Humans read from left to right and from top to bottom. So when you're building the order of your draw of your drill down, don't build the starting point here and then and then here and then then you have something here and then here because then it doesn't make any sense. You want to have like a logical kind of sequence to start from the top. Okay, cool. That's my top story, which then breaks down into something else, which then breaks down into, you know, something else, whatever, and then something else and whatever like that. And you don't want to kind of overload your dashboards, just a few things. I see a lot of beginners just like chuck as much stuff as they can on. And that's kind of not the point of business intelligence tools like Tableau. The idea is we're trying to make um, very complex data consumable to non non data people. That's the whole vision of business intelligence tool. Okay. So if I'm going to visualize country, I simply double click and Tableau does the rest, right? And this is in Europe. So you can see I have all the kind of locations and you know, not to get into all the kind of functionality of maps. If you want to learn about maps, um, just drop me a comment, say, you know, I want to learn about maps, regional mapping, like settings, formatting, whatever you want to learn, I'll do a video on that. So for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to set this to be a boundary instead of a dot. So the way we do that is we go into marks and map. So we have that and I'm going to color it by country. So I'm going to grab country again and just drop it into color. 
Okay, that's that's all I'm going to do for this one. I'm not going to do all the kind of fancy schmancy stuff. So think of this as the highest level. So if I'm a manager, I'm like, I'm looking at things at a regional level, okay, or a country level. Okay, France as a whole, what's it look like? And then the following question is, well, like, let's see what states are in France. So what I would do is first I would rename this. Let's call this country. I would then create a new sheet. This time we're going to use state and province. So double click that. Right, so you can see it's a lot more granular. You know, there's a lot more sep uh, lot more data points because now we're looking at state. We're going to drop this into color. Okay, and then we're going to drop this into map again. So we have all those nice little regions. Okay, so yours should be the exact same. Cool, let's call this state. So basically we're building our individual elements. So now we go into a new sheet and the last one is going to be city. So I'm going to double click that. Okay, and we have our individual cities. Now there's a lot of dots here. So what I'm gonna do is just so we can visualize some information, let's drop sales into size. All right, so we can see the sizing and I'm also gonna drop it into color. That's it. So we can see, you know, some concentrations. So we're kind of pretending this is sort of like a, um, like a business meeting, okay? So now we have city. So now that I've got my elements, I want to build the drill down. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go, to this one and create a new dashboard. So now I've got my dashboard and I'm gonna bring each of those elements in. So if you've never used dashboards before uh, in, in Tableau, it is a bit fidgety for newcomers, but in my opinion, it's actually very clean and efficient compared to some of the other programs I've seen um, do this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna start with country and I'm just gonna click and drag and you'll see that it fills up the whole thing. And the reason is Tableau works in tiles. Yeah, it's so that you don't just have things floating all around the place that aren't aligned and all that kind of stuff. So once you drop that in, you're going to see it's brought in everything. Um, and I'm going to resize this just using this control. Let's just uh, make the height lower just so it fits. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to write 650 just so we can kind of maximize the screen. And let's go a bit wider. Yeah, let's go 1150. Okay, so that kind of fits. And I'm actually going to move my face. Whoa! Over there. Okay. So we got our face over there. And then the next thing is I want to bring in the state. So uh, remember, we're going kind of from left to right or from top to bottom. So I'm going to bring state to this right side. So you can see it's in tile. So you just move it until you have it where you want it. Do not place it in here because then you're going to have, you're not going to have a good time if that happens. So you drop it here on the side and it's going to split. So now you have them side by side. And then I want city underneath state. Okay, so you can kind of see it's somewhat logical in terms of, you know, we're kind of going this way slash kind of that way and it makes more sense. So the story starts here on the left. Now in terms of these colors and ledges, I mean, we don't really need them, right? So they're kind of a waste. So I'm just going to remove them one by one, like so. Once I get rid of this last one, it should just open wide. Okay, cool. Now I'm not going to get into any dashboard formatting or anything like that because that's a whole nother video. If you want to learn that, again, comments. All right. So what happens here is I want to make this interactive. Now, what do I mean by that? I want that if I click on Sweden, I want to see all the states of Sweden. Okay. And I also want to see all the cities of Sweden. So the way I do this to make this um, particular sheet, just this one, interactable, interactivitable, is to click this button right here. So the way you find that is if you click on this first, so just activate it and you'll see a gray border, then click on this little funnel. And what that does is it creates an automatic filter to let you filter everything else. So if I activate it, you'll see it's all blocked out now. And if I click speed on, right, you can see it's completely interactive. And in fact, you can highlight multiple cities, uh, multiple countries, All right, You can go like this. And you can see each time it's filtering more and more. All right, so I can go the other way. So let's say uh, I can go in multiple layers. So if I click on, let's do France, right? So you can see all the cities of France, France, right? And if I, let's say I wanna drill down even further. So I wanna see, okay, I'm not gonna say that state. Let me pick a simple, <laughs> a simple state for a simple shine. Okay, Normandy. All right, so if I click on Normandy, what I should be able to see is this bottom one will filter. And actually, you know what? I'm just gonna change this color. Let's just go back. It's just a bit hard to see. Um, we're just gonna go color. Let's just make it, I'm just gonna make it red. 
just so it's super seeable. Okay, there we go. Just make a red, and maybe we'll add a border just so it's kind of easier to see. So each of those little dots. Okay, so going back to dashboard one. Okay, so we can see a little bit better. So now if I click on Normandy, right, nothing happens, right, because we have to activate that filter, that one right there. Okay, so you can see it. So we click on that. And again, make sure your sheet, uh, the sheet is activated. So now if I click on Normandy, right, this one has now filtered. Now what's happened on the left side is um, uh, it filters everything. So it, like everything happens kind of simultaneously. Okay, so if I click on that, see this is now Normandy. Okay, and you can see all the individual cities. And that's basically how you build a, a, a drill down, like at its most basic form. But you can go in other ways as well. So if I want to reverse this, I simply deselect the ones I've selected, and I can kind of start from scratch. Um, if I turn on the city one as well, so let's go use this filter, I can do something like this. Let's say I'm interested in a region around here, okay, to see which states and cities and stuff are in there. So I can highlight a whole group of them, and it will filter the other way. So now I can see, oh, well, it's actually that region is Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, and Denmark, okay? And these are the individual states. So you can go that way. Um, in addition to this, you can also, yeah, in addition to this, it doesn't just have to be um, maps. You can build this with anything. So let me do a quick demonstration for, like, dashboards. I'm going to drag and drop country. Uh, actually, no, you know what, what I'm going to do? Let's do state and province. Okay, so we got state and province like this. I'm going to make it into a map and I'm going to drop country in the color. That's our first one. And then I'm going to build a bar chart. So let me go to a new sheet and I'm going to bring in region. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's bring in state. Okay, so I've got lots of states here. Oh, sorry, cities. And let's bring in quantity. So I'm going to drop that in columns and I'm also going to bring in sales. Why not? Actually, no, we'll just do one. And let's just sort this. So just using this button right here. Okay, so I got highest to lowest, something simple. And let's build a dashboard. So this one right here. And let's bring both of them in. So I've got sheet four coming in, and I've got sheet five coming in. Cool. I'm just going to resize this. All right, nice and small. So if I do the same thing, I activate these filters. So one and two. I can do it for bar charts as well. So like, let's say I go like this, right? You can see the bar chart is filtering. In fact, for any type of visualization in Tableau, every single one, if you activate the filter, it will filter everything else on that same dashboard, but only in that dashboard, okay? If you wanna learn like more customized filtering, things where it's doing very specific things and very specific fields are filtering and like the really, really crazy advanced stuff. Um, I have a Udemy course you can check out. It's in the description below. But that is only if you really want to get into the uh, more advanced, fancy schmancy stuff, the really fun stuff that I like. But for most people, I'd say 75% of people, this will solve most of your problems. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you know, be sure to hit that um, like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, have a good day and bye.